Welcome back, gang, for the first time and hopefully many more to come. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and click on the notifications right here, this little bell, so you can get those emails every time we go live. Peace. Voice.com over here with the Hall of Famer Jim Lampley. Big upset in Madison Square Garden tonight. Saddam Ali of Brooklyn defeats Miguel Carter. You know, I was over here in the stands with the media. Did you have uh, uh, Ali win the fight tonight? I don't score fights. Okay. Uh, Harold scores fights. Max scores fights. They both felt as though uh, Saddam was the winner. I think Harold had 115-113. Uh, and, you know, from the... From the uh, eighth round on, uh, you could see that Saddam was landing the harder and more meaningful punches, and uh, Miguel was buying space, buying time, etc. cetera. Uh, so anybody who gave the last four rounds to Saddam, that doesn't surprise me. And 90% of the time in a reasonably close fight, if somebody wins the last four rounds, they're going to win the fight. Uh, so I thought from round one on, Saddam produced a very assertive, um, unusually confident performance compared to what I expected from him. And uh, Cotto told Max Kellerman at the end of the evening that he had torn his left bicep in the seventh round. What we saw in the action in the late rounds would conform with that. Doesn't surprise me. I've had a torn bicep. It's hard for me to imagine how you fight five and a half rounds with that. So uh, at the end of the day, not shocking. I remember when I was writing my notes before coming here tonight, one thing I wrote to remind myself is that a lot of people in boxing believe if you can say the word retirement, you're already retired. And there was in my mind a mystery as to how well Cotto would be able to prepare for this fight, given everything else that he had going on in his life at this moment, including the desperation that people in Puerto Rico are now feeling uh, in the wake of the hurricane. I'm sure that weighs very hev fairly heavily uh, on his mind. So, great victory for Sa Saddam. It'll be interesting to see what he can do in the 154-pound division because everybody's thought of him up to this point as purely a welterweight.